section 100 narada continued here is that spacious and celebrated city of cities called iranyapura belonging to the daityas and dhanavas possessing a hundred diverse kinds of evolution here in these regions called pathala it has been built with great care by the divine artificer and planned by the dhanava maya endued with great energy and heroism many dhanavas having obtained boons from brahman in days of old lived here exhibiting a thousand different kinds of illusion they were incapable of being vanquished by sakra or any other celestial that is by either yama or varuna or the lord of treasures kuvera here dwell homatali those asuras called kalakam kanjas who sprang from vishnu and those rakshasas also called Yudhudhanas, who sprang from the feet of Brahman, all of them are endured with frightful teeth, terrible impetus, the speed and prowess of the wind, and great energy depending on powers of illusion. Besides these, another class of Dhanavas, called Nivata Kavachas, who are invincible in battle, have their abode here. Thou knows how Sakra is unable to vanquish them many times. O Mathali, Thau with thy son, Gomuka, and the chief of the Celestials, and Lord of Sachi, along with his son, had to retreat before them. Behold their homes, O Matali, that are all made of silver and gold, and well adorned with decorations, done according to the rules of art. All those mansions are decked with lapis lazuli and the corals, and made effulgent with the luster of the Arkaspatika, and the radiance of gem called Vajrasara. And many of those palatial residences seem as if they have been made of the shine of these gems, called Padmaragas, are of bright marble, are of excellent wood, and they are also possessed of the radiance of the sun, or blazing fire, and all the edifices, adorned with gems and jewels, are very high, and stand close to one another, of spacious proportions and great architectural beauty. It is impossible to say of what material these mansions are built or to describe their style of beauty. Indeed, they are exceedingly beautiful in consequence of their decorations. Behold these retreats of the Daityas for recreation and sport, these beds of theirs for sleep, these costly utensils of theirs set with precious stones and those seats also for their use. Behold these hills of theirs looking like clouds, those fountains of water, these trees also that moved of their own, well, and that they yield all fruits and flowers that one may ask, see O Mathari, if any bridegroom may be, add here, acceptable, to thee, if no one can be found, we shall, if thou likest, go hence to some other part of the world. Thus addressed Mathali, answered Narada, saying, O celestial Rishi, it behoveth me not to do anything that may disagreeable to the dwellers of heaven. The gods and the dhanavas, though brothers, are ever at hostility with each other. How can I, therefore, make an alliance with those that are our enemies? Let us repair, therefore, to some other place. It behoveth me not to search among the Dhanava. As regards thyself, I know thy heart is ever set on fomenting quarrels. Thus endeth section 100 in the Bhagavad Yana Parva of the Parva.